the very first ultrasound, it was early, it was six weeks, five days. And you know, the ultrasound tech said, uh, here's your baby, and we saw the baby. And then she said, and over here, there's identical twins. And I said, what? I said, are you, are you saying there's three? And actually, I started crying because the clinic had told us that we couldn't carry three. So it actually wasn't exciting at first, not because we didn't want three, but because they wanted us to terminate the identical twins. They said that gave us the best chance of a healthy pregnancy. And we said, no, we're keeping them. Our pregnancy, I would say, started really easy. I didn't have any symptoms. I never got sick. I actually felt great. I loved being pregnant because I wanted to be pregnant so badly. And then at 16 weeks, we went for our um, an ultrasound. And that was actually when we found out gender. And they also noticed on that ultrasound that something was wrong with my cervix. It was shortening and funneling. So then they give you an option. They basically say you can miscarry them on your own because that's probably what's going to happen. Or you can get a circlage, which is stitching of the cervix to sew it shut. That went well, the, the stitching went well. And then I had no more issues until the day of our anatomy scan. I was frightened from the day they said there were three in there. So when they told us that we had three expecting, I knew things weren't gonna go as smoothly as everybody thought they were gonna go. And it was like nine o'clock maybe, and I stood up and it was just like in the movies, dramatic water breakage. I mean, it just everywhere, all over the hotel floor. At the time, I looked at my husband and I said, we're screwed, I just killed our babies. That's what I said. I felt like my body failed. And um, I get really emotional when I talk about it. I'm sorry, it was, it was really scary. Well, the next morning I woke up and had bleeding and she went to do a check and she sat down next to me and she said, this is about to move very quickly. We cannot get a heart rate on Kian. Sorry. He's in the birth canal, um, and we don't know if he's okay. And so we have to get him out. She said, we're rushing you to the OR, we have to get him out. And then they took Kian out, and they said that his heart rate was only 30. And we were really scared. And they asked us again, do you want us to resuscitate him if we need to? What are we allowed to do? And we said, everything, everything you can do, do all of it. Um, and it's a little known fact that a lot of hospitals in the United States will not even attempt to save a 22-weeker. And then for five and a half days, I had contractions on and off. My epidurals kept failing. I wasn't allowed to get out of bed, so I had to have a catheter. Until five and a half days later, I got sick. I got an infection because, because Kian and Declan are identical. They cut Kian's cord and they have to just leave it. And so because of that, you're exposed, and I got an infection, and that's ended up because I got a fever, they had to take them. I was on autopilot. I was just there for her, and you know everything I could do for her to make her comfortable, that's, that's what I did. So I didn't even have a chance to think of what I needed or what was going on with me. It was just focus on Kaylee, focus on the babies, and make sure everything that she needs is taken care of. Aside from what the doctors can do, what can I do? There were many medical needs. They were intubated quite a while. Lots of scares. They got what's called NEC. NEC is a very deadly NICU disease. Kian had it once, and Rowan had it twice, and Kian also had pneumonia. Um, their skin is like paper when they're born that soon. They're bright red. It's awful to see. They don't look like babies. It's not, they're not cute. You know, it's scary. This is Declan. This is Kian. This is Rowan. The triplets just turned two. Um, of course, Kian first in December, and then the other two this January. She's at the triplets are at. They're your typical two-year-olds. I mean, they're running around. They're climbing furniture. They're jumping off things. They eat on their own. They want to eat all the time. Um, so they're just yeah, they're just your typical two-year-old running around, being happy. I, I think they love having a big brother and sister, especially Rowan. <laughs> and I'm proud of 
my dad, I'm proud of the triplets, I'm proud of Kaylee, I love them all so much, I'm proud of all of us. They need lots of attention, because they're still really little and they're only two. They like having an older brother because I always get them laughing and cracked up. I think it's amazing that they got the title and that they got the record. Um, most of it comes from Kaylee. She's an amazing woman. For her to go through that for five whole days is stronger than anything I've ever seen in my life. It's the triplets that I wanted the award for. I'm proud of them. They fought and survived and they have scars all over from all the needles and they are the warriors, not me. And I wanted a record for them. I wanted them to know later what they went through.